Hey folks, That Fix It Guy here. And today we're gonna be changing out a bulb on my CRV. All right, the passenger side headlight, as you know, it is intermittent on the low setting, right? So my low beam doesn't work sometimes. So today I'm gonna show you how to change this out. So I just went and bought this basic bulb, right? You don't wanna touch this with your hands. You wanna make sure you have some gloves. And I was gonna buy some dielectric grease, but if you remember from the last video, there was so much dielectric grease on it that I'm actually just gonna use a toothpick and I'm gonna get some of that off there. I'm gonna put some on this one and we should be good to rock and roll. So come along, let's get to fix it. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna glove up and we're gonna take this out. So you just kind of reach down in here and we're gonna to wanna to disconnect the wiring from the bulb. So if we pop this off, remember we can see right there, it's got, a, it's got a good amount of little dielectric grease right there. I wiped some off last time, but we'll make sure that we uh, wipe a little bit of that out of there with a toothpick and we're gonna just go ahead and put it on the new light bulb terminals. So we'll get that out of our way here. Let's see if we can actually get it really out of our way. And then there's this little rubber boot right here that pops off that you can just remove the whole thing, set that up there. And then there is right down on the inside of this, there is this retainer clip right here. So you can kind of see that retainer clip right there. And that's this little inside area. So that retainer clip just holds the light in there. Sorry, it's kind of blurry. It doesn't go so well this close up I guess maybe it does so there's a retainer clip light goes in there pop that out and the bulb pops right off okay and so if you look right there you can actually see Maybe we'll take this inside, but you out, oh, you can actually see that right there, that there is a black part right there that looks like it's burnt out. We'll take this and we'll put it underneath the light inside too, and we'll try to take a better look at it. So we'll set that aside and we just grab one of our new ones. Remember, do not touch this with your fingers. You wanna have a pair of gloves on. If you guys like the content, please, consider subscribing to the channel. Click that like button. We're just trying to help people out. and Honestly, trying to help myself out too because I'm sick of people saying, hey, your light's out. Hey man, you gonna ever fix that? Like, and then I just run up and smack it and it works again. And like, oh, oh, well, that's cool. Cool trick. So now with this, I'm actually going to take the toothpick and I'm gonna get in here where some of this dielectric grease is that it really doesn't need to be in a couple of these places. And I'm just gonna rub it right along this a little bit. All right, they put so much of this stuff in here. Let's get a little bit more of that on there. Just make sure you get all three of these hooked up. I could have bought some more of this at the store, but man, there was so much in here that I didn't feel like I needed to. Save myself a couple bucks, because then I'd have all that grease for one bulb and I wouldn't know what else to do with it. It's gonna set around my garage to where eventually my wife's gonna be like, hey, what is that? She's gonna throw it away anyway. Okay, so now the way this goes back in is the three prongs are gonna be right there, right? So. The top prong is going to be on the top.
Okay, get the clip back over it. And it just kind of goes from the up position to kind of down. So then we're gonna grab the cover. I'm gonna take that cover and you just put it right back on the way you took it off. It's good to leave a gap right here in the middle up top, right? Cause this is the same thing. It's kind of a triforce, just leave. It's kind of a triangle shaped and just leave the gap, this gap on top. That way you'll be able to put your wiring back on no problem. All right, so once we get that kind of hooked up right there. Okay, get that around the bulb. That's there. Put back in place. And now we're able to just take this wiring. Just remember the top of that bulb is right here on this top prong. And just get that put right there, back on, and let's test it out. Okay, we got a moment of truth here. Boom, on right away. That's awesome. And boy, those headlights are a little dirty and foggy. So we got low. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Quick change out. Not bad at all. All right, so we got that hooked up. Really, it's very quick, very easy. Just remember, you wanna wear gloves. Use a little dielectric grease. If you don't have any, you could definitely go buy some, but I felt there was more than enough to just be able to hook that up in there. It's gonna be awesome. I'm actually really excited to not hear people say, hey, your light's out. All right, so let's take this bulb back inside. Let's get a little better light on it and let's see if we can actually look at that a little bit better and see where the split is. Okay, so I came inside and this is what we're looking at here. This is the high beam filament. It still looks good. It's still wound tight, looks nice spiral shaped. This one right here, this is the low beam. And you can actually see if you look right there, you can actually see that it's broken. Right, so me tapping on that eventually pounds that back together and allows a couple of those places to touch. But this is actually broken and busted up. So yeah, that's why the low beam is shot right there. All right, folks, so that was me finally getting around to changing out my driver's side headlight bulb. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed the in-depth look inside this bad boy and actually seeing exactly what was wrong with it. I also want to give a big shout out to some of my subs, man. Like you guys, you leave comments and they're just insightful and they're helpful. And you know, it, it builds to the community aspect of this. And I really love that. You know, my cousin, Mike, Harry P, Richard Thomas, you guys, like there's so many more. You guys are really hooking up great comments, great feedback. And you knew what the problem was. So we got this hooked up. We put a little dielectric grease in there. Worked like a charm. All right, very thankful. I really appreciate everything that everybody does. If you can subscribe to the channel, click that like button. We would greatly appreciate it because we're just trying to help people out. You can check us out on Instagram. I promise I'm trying to do more on there. I like the platform. I'm just so new to a lot of these things that I don't know, man. We also have that Fix It Guy on Facebook. I'm gonna start posting some older stuff on there at some point. I'm just trying to get everything figured out. There's so many places to help people and we just want to continue to do that. Thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon.